Hey, hey, people. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, guys and girls? How's everyone doing? Um, hello, hello, hello. Gonna bring this down a bit. Robbie in the house. Medi, Nays, Matt in the house, how's it going? Yep, yep, yep. What's going on? I'm all good. I'm going to be talking about my free ebook that you guys can get your hands on. Um, I'm going to be talking about this right here. Get lean, stay lean, lose weight, stay in shape. Oh, yes. Uh, Good to see you too, M212. Yeah, it's raining. It, well, it was raining here quite hard. It's kind of gone gone by now. So hopefully it stays away. Wed in the house, how's it going? Yep, 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 yep. All right, so. So the purpose of this live feed right now is that I'm going to be talking about my free ebook. Um, it's been out a while now, but... I've only just, I mean, I've promoted it before, but I kind of want to talk about it a little bit more in detail and how it can help you. So it's called Get Lean, Stay Lean, all right? Lose weight, stay in shape. So it's kind of on the basis of you getting in shape and then staying in shape. That That's what I'm going to be covering today, how to get in shape and stay in shape. So this free ebook here that you could download, I've, just, I've literally just printed it out this free ebook that, that you can download and get your copy of. Um, before I start to talk about it, you can, if you DM me, you can see the message below. If you've messaged me, DM me here on Instagram, uh, say you want the copy and I will send you the link and then you can um, download a free copy. Some of you may have downloaded it already and using it. Some of you, this might be the first time you're, you know, hearing about it. So um, I'm gonna explain about it. So this, this, this inside this 24 page, um, ebook, I explain all the guidelines of what I use personally and what I uh, base my workings with my clients on. So I've got guidelines I stick to, like in, in terms of like the macros, um, the calories, and how I split um, split it up um, towards and personalized towards to that client. So it all depends on the client and and how they respond to different foods. But this, we're going to go for it very briefly. I'm not going to spend too long on it, but very briefly on what it's about and how you can implement it in your, um, you know, in your day and how you can do it yourself. All right. So we're going to talk about food mainly, um, how I work out macros and calories and, and so forth. So there it is. Get Lean Staling. Message me. Come back in there, whatever. Do it at the end. Message me and for, your, for the link and you can grab your free copy. All right, so, what we got, what we got? We've got people requesting. We're not going live, guys. I'm gonna be explaining about this ebook and how it can help you, all right? So it's about getting in shape and then staying in shape. That's what it's all about, all right? So, get lean, stay lean. Lose weight, stay in shape. The ultimate guide to transform your body. All right, here we go, see that? All right, so we're gonna open it up. I feel like a school teacher, actually, let me, yeah, I feel like a school teacher. Right, so, blah, 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 a bit of an introduction to myself, blah, blah, blah. When you download it, you can get your, you can read that. Uh, just being real um, about a bit of a description of, um, a bit of detailed copy of what I believe, you know, needs to be done when you uh, want to lose weight. Basically been in a slight deficit but having a slight balance throughout the whole week. I mean, download it and then you'll kind of get the gist of that, gist of that. All right, so we're gonna be talking about like how to eat, when to eat and what to eat. That's what we're gonna be talking about from my free book, right? So, uh, all right, staying social. Okay, so the areas we're gonna think is when to eat, eat what to eat, being in a calorie deficit, how to enjoy yourself, Okay, training and staying active, uh, staying social and still eating those cheat meals. That's very important because, I mean, who can eat chicken and broccoli all day long? It just, it's 
doesn't work, right? Um, and again, I said, if you can keep to at least 50% of these areas, you've got half a chance of getting lean and staying lean, all right? So um, check out the back, guys. Check out the back on that. <laughs> <coughs> all right, so what to eat and how. Chapter two. All right, again, I've kind of given a, given a little bit of a list of the stuff you can eat, the proteins, the carbs, and the fats. And again, these are pretty basic, but it kind of like opens it up. You might have, you know, chicken, whey, turkey, prawns, bison, lamb, Greek yogurt, tofu, seitan, lentils, black bean pasta. So many things you can have. I mean, that's only a short list of stuff that you can actually have. Remember, variety and, and having options is very key. So key to kind of staying on that journey, you know, of getting in shape and then staying in shape. You've got your carbs. You, all you, these are mainly your clean carbs, your sweet potatoes, your... Um, whole grain rice, yams, pasta, cream of rice, blueberries, bananas, oats, any kind of fruits, all right? Your fats, we've got avocados, almond butter, peanut butter, coconut oil, cashews, avocados, blah, blah. These are all the clean, clean, clean kind of stuff that you can kind of um, keep to and, and try and implement that in your, in your uh, food plan. So these are kind of foods I stick to when I'm getting lean, uh, the cleaner type. But then when I want to stay lean, I will still have some of this, but I'll also have a few cheat meals. That's what it's all about, right? Okay, don't remember guys, don't forget to message me, DM me if you want a free copy of this. Okay, so, right, what we're going to do, we're going to skip a, a little bit of this. All right, um, so actually, let me, okay, here's an example, right? Here's an example of a meal, you might not be able to see it, all right? But here's an example, so I'm going to explain, so make sure you're listening. Here's an example of a meal plan um, I've done in the past of, of, for a client, and obviously loads of clients, but I've obviously made alterations and um, personalised it for that person. So what I'll typically kind of go with is like meal one, you have oats or like wheat bix with some whey. Meal two, Greek yoghurt with like a handful of um, uh, blueberries. Meal three, chicken breasts, maybe maybe some rice and some maybe avocado oil or coconut oil. Uh, meal four, smoked salmon or prawns in a wrap, like with salad and stuff like that. Uh, meal five, prawns, um, chicken or uh, with rice. And um, meal six, probably. But I mean, you don't have to have as many of these meals. You don't have to. You know, this is just an example of the kind of how, how I would break it up. Um, and again, these guidelines, you have cheat meals. Um, you can have like one on Wednesday, one on Saturday, depending on the guidelines you can keep to, how much water and alcohol. Anyway, this ex you you obviously when you download this, you you can read it a little bit more in detail and then go from there. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about, guys, in this, this is the main part. All right, carb cycling. Okay, why I use carb cycling, especially when. Um, well, when you're getting in shape initially, but also especially when you're staying in shape. All right, so I'm going to go through my guidelines of what I would use for me and my clients. All right. All right, so typically when I'm doing carb cycling, typically I would do two low days. So you can see here, if you can see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll do two low days, followed by high, two low days, followed by high, two low, and, and then repeat, all right? So two low days, meaning the carbs on those, on those two days are low, followed by the higher carb day, all right? So that's what we call carb cycling, so you're kind of doing that, all right? Um, and I'm going to explain to you now how I actually do that and the, the numbers that I use, the guidelines. Okay, so let's say you're a 200 pounds, 200 pounds, 200 pound male, all right? Or female, all right? We're just using 200 because it's a, it's a nice rounded number. Um, you have quite a bit of body fat on you, on you. let's say about 50% plus. I would stay within the 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 grams of carbs per pound. So what that means, how, however many pounds you are, we will, um, so we will times 0 0.2, between 0 0.2 and 0 0.5, times by that person's body weight. So if it's 200 in this example, you times those two, all right? So we'll come back to that later. So an, exa sorry, an example for that will be 
um, 0.5 times 200 equals 100. So that means that you might, if you're a 200 pound male or female, okay, you would have 100 grams of carbs on your low days. All right. So you have two. You have 100 grams of carbohydrates on your low carb days. Okay. Um, so those are your low carb days. To work out your high carb day, I would stay within the one to two grams of carbs per day, um, per pounds. All right. So if again you're a 200 pound male or female, that would be. Um, so we're gonna go by the one. Say the range is between one and two. Say we go by one gram. That's one times two hundred is two hundred. So on your high day, that would be two hundred. So up here you would do okay. Monday and Tuesday you'll have um a hundred grams of carbs. Wednesday two hundred, followed by two days of one, and followed by the so is it obviously your carb cycle. And that's an example, guys. Um, so that's an example of how I would work out and do a carb cycle for someone. But again, it's a range. So on a low carb day, it's a range between 0.2 and 0.5. It's 0.2 to 0.5 grams of carbs per pound of your weight on your low days. On your high days, it's between one and two grams of carbs per pound on your high days. So you might be 150 pounds, all right? So you times whatever uh, the range, all right? And again, I'm gonna give you a little rule of thumb I like to keep to, to work out uh, yours. So. So my rule, rule of thumb is to start on the highest part of the range for the low carb and the lower uh, and the lower for the high carb. Um, and again, if you're not seeing any changes, you can um, you change it by 0.1. All right. So you just kind of um, adjust it accordingly. Um, so, yeah, so that's how I would kind of carb cycle. There's so much more detail here, but I don't want to go into it too much, all right? You can obviously, if you watch this back later, you can rewind and go back and forth. But what I would say is make sure you download this, okay? Make sure you download it because it will help you. All right, let's see if we've got any questions. Uh, I think we just got watches, which is cool. I mean, post any questions you've got. Uh, do, do put questions here on the comments and I'll try and go through them. Uh, would you vary the range depending on how you look in the mirror, depending on uh, what your goals are, right? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, if you're, say, you're doing something for... What I would do is, like, normally stick with it for, like, two weeks. And if, if nothing is changing, then what I would do is make some slight adjustments. So, if it's not changing according to how you look or you're, or, or if you're looking to lose weight, your, um, your weight to a certain extent. Uh, first for me is visuals through the mirror. If you're not making any changes, then yes, I'll then lower it by 0.1 each time and then um, manipulate it. It could be that or it could be the types of foods that you're also eating as well. So you might want to make your, because we're sticking with just numbers here, you might want to um, consume cleaner sources of food to, to then obviously get your body to kind of move where you want it to. Uh, okay, so that was carb cycling. What did I say here? Okay. All right, so, actually I will touch upon this. So that, that first carb cycle I spoke about was kind of on the guidelines of me losing weight or getting into shape, that initial push to get yourself lean, right? Now, how about staying in shape? So once you've got to where you are, how do you now want to stay where you are? and make sure it's it's sustainable and, and doable and make sure you don't obviously go backwards, all right? So, you have a French version of the book. I don't actually, that's a good question. Um, I don't have a version of that book. When measuring carbs, is it cooked weight or dry weight? I always mess that up a bit. Well. Um, I normally do all my foods, I normally do it cooked weight because I normally cook in batch. So I weigh it cooked weight, except my oats. I have it dry. I can't think of anything else I, I weigh dry. Only my oats I weigh dry. All right, so here's the guidelines now for actually staying in shape, what I kind of will kind of stick to, okay? So I would stay within the range of 1.5 to 2 grams of carb per pound for a high carb day, all right? To, to, work, to work out how much carbs per pound, do the following. So again, like, like I mentioned before, not... We go um, 
Sorry, uh, high carb day. Uh, okay, so here's a high carb day. So uh, if we're going to go by the high option, okay, it's two times, this person's 180 uh, pounds, by the way. So two times, okay, 180 is 360. So for that 180 pound person, you're going to have 360 60 grams of carbs on the high day. All right. Now let's cal calculate the low day. Um, I actually missed that bit up here. So for the low day, I stick to a 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 of uh, carbs per pound on the low carb days, all right? So you can see slightly up um, the range from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 here on when you kind of want to stay in shape, all right? So I would use on the low carb day, the higher range, so it's 0 0.8 times that 180, which is the, the weight of the person is about 144 grams. So two low days of 144 grams for that person, followed by one high day, which is 360. And that's how I would kind of now say that person was like, you know, it, it worked and they, you know, you know, they were eating clean foods and having a few cheat days. Everything was going according to plan. I would do 144 grams on the two low carb days and 360 grams of carbs on a high day. And again, I would repeat that. So yeah, so that's what I would do in terms of getting lean and then also staying lean. Those are the guidelines. I mean, this will all differ, all right? But you have to try something first on yourself to, to actually find out if it works or not. And if it doesn't work, you make adjustments, all right? Stick within those guidelines, all right? Stick within the guidelines in this book and I'm sure it will get you somewhere, trust me. And to get this free book, you need to message me, DM me here on Instagram, and you will uh, say like, yeah, I want a copy, please, blah, blah, be polite. And then I'll send you the link and you can grab your, download it for free. All right, let's go through some questions. Best home workout for chest. Uh, if you've got no weights and just body weight, good old uh, push-ups, Spider-Man push-ups, uh, decline push-ups, you go for it. I will be live. I want to be live with you. With you, swipe, swipe. Okay, let's have a look. He wants to go live. All right. So, if you're just logging in now, I've already just explained about this ebook. If you missed most of it or missed part of it, I'll keep it here and replay. I'll post it all on all of my other social media as well, and um, hopefully, you've, that helps. Gives you a bit of an insight into my guidelines, I mean, I also cover the training as well on here. Uh, I quickly have a little scan through. Uh, I talk about protein as well, how much protein you should be having. Uh, uh, calories as well, I talk about the calories, the fats. Um, I'm not gonna go through it all now, I might go through on another live. Um, also workout routines, I go through that as well. Uh, I mean, these are just basic kind of, uh, you know, techniques that I like to use through supersets and stuff like that. Um, that's for each muscle group. And eight steps to put your, your plan together. So it's all, it's like it covers a good, you know, a good area of what you kind of want. It's a good guide to help you in regards to like if if you're kind of lost and you're not you're not sure what to do, then try and stick to something similar that I've written in this book. Okay, um, so sign up, get this free, download this free ebook, and um, this will get you going. Especially like the gyms are now reopening it. You know, you might want to give it. It might give you that kickstart and that kind of January feeling again. Uh, what we got? What we got? Brazil in the house. Yeah, the link's in my bio as well. Um, so guys, you can either message me or go check out the link in my bio. Either way, um, make sure you do get this. It will help you for sure. I lived in UK back in 1985. Yes, 85. I was born in 84. Um, it's probably a lot has changed since then, I would have thought. 
All right, guys and girls, hopefully you've got a bit of information again. Again, download my free ebook, DM me, get your copy, and I'll speak to you soon. See you later, guys and girls.